the pencil tool allows you to draw free form vector lines in Illustrator. To get started, to find the tool, it looks like a regular pencil and it may be hiding under the smooth or the path eraser tool. Both of, all of these tend to work together. The second thing to keep in mind is whatever your fill and stroke color is. Right now I'm going to keep my fill at nothing and my stroke at a default black. To use the tool, simply click and drag your mouse and you'll notice some dotted lines appear and when I let go of my mouse my vector line will be created. Now there are some options associated with this tool. To pull up those options simply double click on the tool icon. This will bring up our pencil tool options dialog box. The first set of options are the tolerances and this will allow you to have a more rigid or a more fluid type line uh, based on where you click and drag. If you want a very rigid line that follows exactly where you drag, keep your fidelity and smoothness very low. But if you wanted a smoother, more flowing type line, bring it all the way up to the other side. In general, I like to keep mine pretty low and close to the exact line that I drew off. The second set of options, first of all, will allow you to fill in the color of a, a new stroke that's created or not and also to keep it selected and to be able to keep editing a path. I've got both of those checked off, so let me show you what those do. I'll hit OK. Notice that when I created that line, after I let go of my mouse, it had that line still selected. This means if I move my mouse close to the edge of it, notice the, the X disappears when I get too close to it, I can continue to click and drag and add on to that line. So if I was to stop my mouse and need to restart again, I can add on to that line without actually getting rid of it. If I move my mouse farther away and I have the X, then I start to click and drag, it's just going to create another separate line. Changing how the distance between that is the last little option where you can choose how far you want to be able to edit that particular path. One thing to know about this one is, if I was to click and drag forward with it, it adds on to the line, but if I back up and go over my line and then go forward, it erases away what I have. So be uh, particularly careful about where you start and stop. If I back up, it's going to erase away that line and start drawing another one. Whereas if I just click and pull forward with it, it'll drag off as well. The other tool options that you have, your erase path tool and smooth tool, with these, I can click around and change the structure of my line, making it smoother by clicking and dragging, and I can even reshape how that uh, line is moving. Or with my eraser tool, I can erase away particular parts of a line if I don't want those as well. All of those work together.